Hello everyone, and welcome back to Pathfinder War for the Crown. Last we left off, a lot of stuff happened, but most importantly, the Emperor of Taldor, Grand Prince Stavian III, with a crazed look on his face, pulled a dagger and sunk it into the chest of the commoner to be risen to noble, right in his chest. As things went to chaos, guards rushed into the room and began cutting down people. As we get into this, I would like everyone to roll initiative. Why, of course. No, I don't want to. I'm scared. <laughs> you have to. I'm scared. Oh, God, no. Somebody roll higher than that. Uh, I guess I can just for ease of use I can do this uh, where is your so it's a 17 initiative sir character sheet oh there it is ha ha All right, as initiative starts, I'm going to put him back a little bit. Uh, all of you notice a single masked figure wading through the crowd closer and closer to you as they are stabbing and slashing at random crowd goers. And that is this figure right here. As we start with Lucia. No. Um, I don't, I don't <clears throat> want to start. Um, okay, so can I take a quick look around and see two things. Can I identify where the princess is and can I identify where, uh, mm -mm -mm, what is her name, where, if, where our patron is? Mm-hmm. Um, give me... A perception. I shall. Maybe. Yeah, Martella. Um. Oops. Seventeen. So you can see, uh, Princess Eutropia is at the top here, okay. um, with her own group of forces trying to get out. Okay. Um, and where is her, I don't know, oh, there it is. I have to get it from the background. You also see Martella Lothied is up there with her. Okay, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Um, huh, okay, um, and are these stairs right here? Because we're yes. kind of up or I'm kind of up in the in the gallery. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. Do I have to take those stairs to get to here? Um. Oh boy, how is this room laid out? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Make it up and I'll believe you. Um, I guess it'd probably be easier just to say, because this is the case, um, the entire section of her up here is okay. essentially, like, bowled over and surrounded by guard. Um, okay. So it is unlikely for you to get close to any of them. So, like, for... I'm just going to draw a circle. Yeah, that's fine. To make, like, the section of area where it will be unlikely for you to reach. Like, this entire, like, area is guarded over, lots of fighting... It is unlikely for you to get close to any of the, you know, important okay. people. So the idea of trying to rush over there and try to help them get the princess out doesn't seem very feasible. Yeah. Very, okay. Um. Okay. I guess I'm going to. I'm going to um, 
use our communication devices. Do we connect to Martella as well, or just to each other? You connect to everyone who has these devices, because Martella was talking to you with the badges. Oh, that's right, she did, she did. Okay, so I am going to say to everybody, including Martella, but mainly to Martella, if you can take the princess out and get her to the warehouse district, we can get to my house as a safe spot. So I think everyone get out, regroup at my house. Unless anyone has a better idea. And then I'm going to cast Embrace Destiny just in case. Ooh. Upon completing this spell, roll a single d20 and record the result. At any point during the duration of this spell, you may use that roll for a single ability check. Mm. Well, then, uh, the spell cannot be used to replace a roll that has already been made. All right, okay. that's fun. It is fun, but uh, something higher than a four would have been nice. Also, if I could, you know, impose that would be nice, but that's fine. Okie dokie. That is, um, hmm, I think what I want to try to do in terms of movement, and then that'll be my turn, um, is... See if I can come around. How much movement do I have? I think it's just 30 feet. Um, I'm gonna come around, kind of try to pick up Mia as I come, you know. 30, get to here, because I'm gonna head for the kitchen. I feel like that's maybe the easiest way to get out. Alright. And is that all? Yeah, that's it. Alright, well, we have 317, so I'm just gonna go off who has the highest dexterity, so who is it? Give me your dexes, people. I'm pretty sure Desmond has a 18 yes. in, and then I have a 17. Q. Um, I don't know how much Hugh has. Uh, I have 17. Okay, then you rightfully can go first. So, Desmond, Hugh, me. Alright, Desmond, you're up first. Okay, so uh, you had said that all these pathways were blocked, right? Like all the pathways out? I mean, you can certainly try rushing out. Um, you do currently have someone charging at you with a bloodied sword. Okay. Um, I did miss the initial ping. Was it, was it this yes. guy over here? Okay. Um... I think I'm gonna try to uh, <clears throat> stay close to the rest of my party, but oops, I I want to move, not draw distances. I'm gonna move over here, and I think I want to blast that guy. Okay. And full blast. Brom. Touch. <laughs> Um, that misses. Okay, yeah, I was thinking it might. Okay. Roll! Um, okay. You need to roll me. You, yeah. I want you to roll me something, and I want you to... Oh, no, I'm gonna roll. Do you want higher or lower? Uh, I'll go higher. Uh, you hit one of the running party goers, and they drop to the floor. You want me to roll damage? Or are they just nope, dead? They're just dead. Okay, well, I mean, Desmond's gonna sleep okay tonight. <laughs> because for the sake of things, you're in a room of, you know, hundreds of scurrying people. Right, yeah. No one's gonna know it was me. <laughs> and ranged attacks, if miss, I'm gonna do D100 rolls to see if they hit a party guard. Got it. Makes sense. Anything right. else? Uh, no, I, I believe that's all I can do, unfortunately. Just kill party killers. <laughs> Alright, you. Uh, okay, so... Oh, 
Well, I guess I don't want to sound repetitive, but all the entrances are blocked. Um, is there any other way of? Uh, is there, well, I guess are these the only um, exits right here, right here, here, and here? Technically, none of those entrances are blocked. The entire room is just surrounded with soldiers. Hmm. Yes. Oh, and I forgot to say, this entire room is now difficult terrain. Because everybody's running and panicking. Yep. That makes sense why it was 10 feet per. I, I forget. How much does uh, difficult terrain reduce your speed by? I should be back here. Um, how much does difficult terrain reduce? I'm I think looking it at just adds five. Or like it halves your speed. So I suppose I'm gonna tr I'm gonna try to like regroup with the others as soon as possible, so I'm going to uh, run. Yeah, everything costs an extra five feet of movement. So I'm gonna run. Oh, well, so it be one, two, and then running will just do one, two. All right. Uh, I suppose that's all I can really do. Just slowly shimmy to the other members without being trampled. Okay. Aravid. Um, was the three relevant to anything right now? No. Okay, great. Um, oh, well, I can move 70 if I decide to move twice, or I can just move 30. Um, Are the guards around the room viable combatants, or should I ignore them? I can certainly throw a bunch of guards onto the map if you want to fight some guards. But currently, the only one paying you any attention is this uh, masked figure. Okay. Right. Okay. Um... Uh, 10, 20. Yeah, I'll do it. Okay. 10, 20, 30. Double move so that I don't get reduced AC. 40, 50, 60, 70. I'm bolting through the crowd. I can't do anything else because I moved twice. Okay. Mia. Okay, so seeing uh, Lucia run by, uh, Mia observes the crowd uh, just slowly starts to like shake out her arms as if she's uh, preparing to do something. And uh, I will do Pearl Striker and I will uh, go into Snake, which is um, plus, two, uh, plus two to rolls during attacks of opportunity and a plus two dodge bonus. So she's basically Ooh. just making herself more slippery to like get through people. Um, and then I am actually going to move and I want to just keep pace with Lucia. I don't, I do not want her to go through this crowd by herself. Okay. So that's all you're doing. Yep. Okay. And I don't know if I can work as like a, uh, uh, what's the word? Uh, an interceptor. If somebody comes up mm -hmm. to attack, like I want to be the one to get in the way. I don't want her yeah. getting hurt. Okay, well, the agent is gonna trundle up to you, Aravid. That's convenient. Right? Um, I will say that in my approach, uh, my eyes go pretty wide as I am observing the situation, but the rest of my uh, expression remains pretty neutral. Mm hmm, okay. Just, just as a flavor. And it as this figure approaches you, you notice that they have, they are wearing heavy armor and they have this large bastard sword in their hand that they've been cleaving through people with. 
as they raise to attack you. Sure. Um, declare before seeing the, the result of the attack, I'm, I've got enough panache. I'll do option parrying or post to this. Okay. So we both attack, and if mine is equal or higher, then I negate it. All right. Actually, let me take a quick look because... Oh, no, because <laughs> it's not a large creature. Mm -hmm. I would take a minus two if it was a creature larger, but it's the same size as me, just a big bulky man. Mm -hmm. Okay. Spend Panache. Uh, result, okay, it has to be great. I have to, I can't equal, I have to beat. Okay. Well, that's cool. Uh, go ahead and make your roll. What do you roll, sir? Uh, don't worry about it. I, I want to see that attack roll from you. Well, I have my roll. It was Whispered GM. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, I got a natural 20. Wow. D d does it get any Hell bonuses? Yeah. I don't think it gets any... Well, uh, uh, on the... that's kind of up to you. If because because what I'm doing is a parry, not necessarily an attack. So that's up to you if you want to give it like critical status. But uh, um, it, it, it would be a 25 in total. OK, so. A 25 in total, not just 20. Yes, natural 20, <laughs> 25 total. OK, well, that is fun. As you oh, ready this guy. Well, as you ready yourself to parry him and turn his own attack against him, you see him raise this sword, this gore-soaked sword, and he begins to swing as you ready yourself. Um, and as you ready yourself to parry this, amongst all of you, there was a blinding flash of light. And when it fades, only darkness and the smell of earth remain. I know for the recording, it is pitch dark, most likely, but that is on purpose. Uh, well, um, I feel unharmed, so I'll take Take it. <laughs> Do any of you have any special vision that I can give you right now? Nope. Not me. Nope. Let me check. Hopefully, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Nothing. Nope. Nope, doesn't look like it. Hmm. You guys suddenly feel your feet oh. disoriented. Oh, Bill, Bill has dark vision. That's it. Um, I don't think oh that my God. will matter no. much. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but you suddenly feel your feet as rather than the feeling of marble, you feel your feet on cold stone and you all kind of feel a tad disoriented as something just happened. Um, is there I assume that the that the sound is different as well like we were hearing you know we were in a situation where there was like running and screaming and shaking no, everything is but a faint distant barely even heard sound i don't know why i am asking that question but <laughs> there you have it right um staring out into the darkness i'm going to call out well i'm going to call out all right, call out who's here. Erevid. Desmond's here. Mia's here. 
were you using the uh, message stone to do that? Uh, no, I I was vo I was vocalizing, which right. is, oh. yeah, you wouldn't know. I would you like... might not think of that. You no, I didn't think of that. that. I That's would fine. like everyone to roll me a perception. What kind of perception? Um, for hearing things. Well, I will not Ooh, be rolling. imprecise. <laughs> can Can I reach out and try? I don't remember find what imprecise Lucia's does. Lucia's hand. Because I was certainly try. near her. How would you like me to roll for that? Um, I'll just ask for a perception. Sure. So I'll just bundle that into your perception. Nine. Nine. Is Arafid rolling? Yeah, one second. Uh, I got... Jesus Christ. Eight. There we go. All right. So we're just going to start with Desmond. Desmond, uh, almost clear as day, you hear the voice of Erevid going, everyone shout out where you are directly next to you. <laughs> um, and that's all you can hear. And that's there's nothing else anyone else can hear because, yeah. Um, as you're feeling around, Mia, um, you're kind of, you know, feeling around where you are, and your hand uh, comes resting on what feels like a bed of some sorts. A bed? But no Lucia. Okay. Um. <coughs> oh, no. Okay. Um, I'll trail my hand along the bed, uh, going just in one direction, so I can't see a map, so I'm going to say south i guess um trail along the bed until i find the edge and then i'm gonna follow the edge to do, do my fingers hit a wall Did I disconnect? Oh, uh, I was muted. Ha -ha. <laughs> I was busy. I was busy typing and zoned out. Can you tell me everything again, Mia, please? Yeah. So I want to find. So I'm assuming when I hit the bed, I hit like the top of it. I want to find yeah. the edge of the bed nearest to me and then follow it. What would essentially be like south. So I would just want to go on one direction of the bed. When I hit the corner of it, I want to follow the frame. Um, and keep going until I hit the opposite end of it. Do I hit a wall as I do that? Like, is the as end of my journey are, a wall? As you are following the frame of the bed and get to the edge of it, you eventually crash into uh, what feels like a cabinet of some sort. Cabinet? Okay. Um, I guess my so I don't take up too much of the, the RP time. I will just kind of like follow my way around the cabinet and to try to find a near wall and see if I can't get a scope of like, am I in a cell? Am I in a bedroom? Like mm -hmm. <laughs> trying to figure out kind of like as, where I'm at just based off of feeling stuff. Mm -hmm. As you're doing that, um, I am going to whisper something. But, Erevid and uh, Desmond, you know you're in somewhere together. Okay. What would you like to do, the two of you? Hmm, okay. Um... I guess I'm going to uh, kneel and kind of figure out if the the flooring is like it looks like it was paved or if it just looks like uh, we're in some random cave somewhere like would I be able to do that 
Sure. Um. What's a good feel around check? Probably perception, right? Yeah, sure. Touch. Oh yeah. Oh, it's not great. In a weird way, I feel like I should I could ask for knowledge dungeoneering. Oh, I hate well, I have that. It's not better than I know, than I'm so... looking at your sheet. <laughs> it it's still not better than perception, so I did roll a nine. Um feels like feels like it, it doesn't feel rough. It doesn't feel like you're in a cave. It feels like like building stone, like you know, okay. like the floor of a building. Okay, so um Arvid, it seems like we're in a structure of some sort. Are you able to see? Uh, n no, I'm. All right, so we're I'm not a little blinded blind. by magic at the very least. <laughs> um, I'm going to try to follow the floor to a wall and figure out how big the space we're in is. Right. Um, keep your voice out. I'm sure we'll be able to track each other. Um, I'm going to go straight left. Okay. Um, I will go in the opposite direction of Ervid's voice. Okay. Okay. And then I don't know where the space is, so I think this is kind of the uh, theater of the mind thing. I'm just gonna keep going until I hit a wall. You... I'm gonna let Arabid know. As you're walking, uh, you almost immediately face first into some sort of structure. Can I knock on it? Uh, well, your face certainly just knocked on it. <laughs> ah, shit. And as your face knocks on it, you hear the sound of crashing glass onto the floor. Ah, oh, what the hell? I heard, uh, wood, glass, and bone. Yeah, that was that was me. I think I just headbutt something. I don't know what it was. Right. You guys are all low level, and I'm genuinely thinking to myself right now, how deadly would giving him one point of damage be? <laughs> I mean, it's like maybe like a non-lethal at this point. Yeah, um, true, non-lethal. Um, I yeah. I see now why it was built for four players and not five. Yes. But I kind of like that we're together. Um, this oh, this was the D three by the way, D four. Ah, I see. Ah, okay. Um, so what do I feel as or you... run into? To... Do. Yeah, I'm you, holding my hand out. I'm probably my rapier, so I can feel. Are things. feeling around, and you feel a doorknob. Oh. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to check it for anything, so I guess I'll just try to open it. Okay, one moment, please. Um. You're, you hear the sound of me? Door here. Um, didn't sound super echoey, so probably not a huge room. All right. Um, how many feet did I go before I headbutt this thing? You took like three steps. Okay, so 15? feet or is that like um, actual step step like actual step steps in actual like game terms you took five okay um should i just move my token to keep pace with like what we're rping sure you begin moving to where you are um you kind of have to squeeze as you feel yourself between two uh what are likely shelves 
I found shelves over here. What kind of that would explain that? the bottles. And okay. as that's happening, we're going to move to Hugh. Hugh, you are in darkness, my friend. What would you like to do? You are muted if you're there. Um, my apologies. Uh, um, I guess. Um, do I still feel like I'm? I have my equipment with me. Yes, you feel around. You, you know, feel all your gear on you. Um, I go ahead and touch the badge and says, "Hey, is everyone all right?" You all hear that? Because it's through the badge. Right. Uh, Mia um, would respond and say, I'm fine. I'm in a room with a with a shelf of some kind. And is the wall stone? Uh, when I hit when I hit the wall, is it stone? Yes. Uh, and it's a stone wall. I'm trying to figure out where where I'm at and what's going on. Uh, Desmond and I are together. He walked into a shelf and busts some bottles, if you heard that at all. <laughs> you just hear a giggle. I actually didn't hear that. Okay, so it doesn't sound like I'm next to any of you guys. So I guess I'll just slowly reach out and just try to feel my way uh, way what, and wherever I am. Mm -hmm. What direction do you begin moving? I guess, honestly, it's just whatever orientation I was at the moment. So, All right, um, so... Yep. You're going to be moving upwards. What? Upwards? <laughs> yeah, you're like, forward. Oh, okay, okay. I was like, uh, am I climbing something? Upwards on the map. Okay, okay. Fair enough. <laughs> All right. Um, what do I need to roll? Um, you don't need to roll anything. As eventually you crash into a wall, and you feel around, and you do feel what appears to be a doorknob. I guess I will. I will try to open it. You try to open it, and you hear the same. You well, you hear the sound of a door opening. All right. Well, I guess I I'll try to open it slowly, just so I can like peek through to see if there's if I can see anything. No. You absolutely do not see anything. Okay, well, that's good. Well, as you're moving around, uh, Lucia. Yes. What you doing in the pitch darkness? So, sorry, I left it exactly the wrong time. Um, so, Hugh said something to me. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, I asked if everyone was alright Okay um, Well, I will answer that And I will say I am alright But I have no idea where I am Or if anyone is with me And it's very dark Is that true for everyone? I think so Same. Same here. I'm, I'm gonna try oh. to find you though. Okay. I will also say, please do recall that unless you are using these 
message devices, I will not be able to hear you. Um, so if you happen to find me, please do, you know, come up and touch my arm or something like that. Of course. So I'm going to do exactly what everybody else is doing um, and sort of try to feel my way around and see if I can figure out where I am. Okay. Uh, yeah, you can roll me a perception check. Okay. Oh, wow. We, we are all about the nines today, Nine. y'all. Yeah. You're feeling around. Uh, you feel a counter of some kind. Like, like what would be a like bar counter. Okay. Um, what, what way, as you feel the counter, do you go to the right side of it? Do you go to the left side of it? What way do you begin feeling your... You know, well, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sort of sweep my hands to see if I'm on like one of the long sides or the short side and then make sure I get on a long side and then kind of turn around with my back to it mm -hmm. and move forward slowly with my hands out so that I can see like if it is a bar if I run into the, the counter behind the bar or the you know shelving behind the bar or if I can just keep going sure you feel around a section of it you turn around uh and walk forward and you run into a chair okay which is also placed as you feel further around at a table okay this is weird i'm just gonna call out not using the message thing hello um, I don't know if anybody can hear me. I won't be able to hear you back, but I'd like to know where I am. Uh, everyone else roll me perceptions again. So it's, someone's going to get a good roll at some point, right? Yeah, of oh course. My God. There we are. There it is. Oh, and yes. <laughs> it's because Lucia called. <laughs> My my guardian angel heard me. Um, yeah, I mean, only Mia, you hear this shouting of Lucia coming from behind you. Like, directly behind me? Uh, somewhere from behind you. Okay. Like, if I... you are currently facing the wall, it's, you know, or a cabinet, you know, as your hand's up against the wall, it came from behind you. Okay, I will. I will slowly turn around and, with my hands extended out directly forward, I will head towards the voice. And I'm, I'm taking very, I'm taking like my new, I'm scooting across this floor. I'm not hurrying. Okay, you can begin doing that. Would you like me to move you? Yes, please, because I don't know what direction I was facing or what direction I heard the voice. So. Yeah, you scoot around the bed, feeling for it, and you begin moving towards where you hear the voice, and you clatter into something. And going along your 20 perception, you feel this seems to be like a double door of some sort. Double door. Okay, I will try the handle and figure out. Push or pull. Don't really care. I'm opening this door. A open uh, outwards. Okay, I will, feeling that, I will very slowly open the door outwards, because I don't want to hit anybody. <laughs> okay, as you do that, we're going to go back to Aravid and Desmond. I want to know how Desmond is handling the shelves. This sounds funny. So how tight exactly are these shelves? About, you know, close to your... Like, if you were just walking straight in, you would feel them on your shoulders. Oh, okay. This is really tight. Um, I'm gonna reach out uh, both high and low in front of me 
to make sure I don't headbutt anything else. Mm -hmm. Alright, um, so you're going forward. Yes. Alright, roll me a perception. Rolling a perception. Okay, that's my best one yet. <laughs> As you walk forward, you don't bust into anything, but you do feel along this edge of the wall. Um, you know, you do reach a wall. And you feel... Something made of glass. Um, oh, something made um, of glass that has, as you feel even further, multiple switches. Um. Hmm. Would what kind of uh, role would I need to intuit what kind of uh, possible device this is? Um, I will because... say knowledge engineering. Hey, I have that. Okay. I'm not going <laughs> to give it to you. <laughs> nice. Having a rough day. Um, but you said it's like a glass. Is it mounted on the wall? It is. It seems to be mounted on the wall and you can feel four switches. Okay. Yep. Well, I... one and and they go in order. You know, one up top, one below it, one below that, one at the bottom. Okay. So I don't know what it is, but I'm gonna tell Arvid. I found some switches. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. I take that back. I read this wrong. There's only one switch in the case. Oh, I found so... a single switch. I don't know what I found, but I am very tempted to just flip the switch. Please Thoughts? don't. Can oh. you feel any text? Uh, any engravings? That that's a fair question. Yeah, I, can I feel for like any engravings or embossments? Like this is an on switch. This is uh, the, the going button. to wander into the other room. As you, with twelve perception, uh, you don't feel any type of text or anything. It's just glass case switch. All right. Um. Well, against. Against Aravid's uh, decision, but I take it I can at least tell that he's walking away. Yeah, you can hear, you know. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, um, so what I'm gonna do is duck down and kind of flip the switch and kind of just shield myself from whatever might happen. Sure, you flick the switch. Don't hate me, Arvid, but I flipped the switch. Did anything happen? And if this works as intended, Lucia and Hugh, suddenly your rooms light up. Oh. So hopefully you guys have vision now. Nope. Why? <laughs> oh, Lucia. These torches are there. They should work. Are they on that layer? No. You know, I, 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 don't know. There. I, I, I can see a torch light up like I can. So it's kind of weird. I, I actually have vision of Hugh's token. No one else's. Uh, I mean, I can see myself, but I can see a torch light up a room. Um. Well, I don't think anything happened hey, here, so whatever. OK, so, uh, yeah, I'm going to speak into the the sending stones the walkie talkies and uh i'm gonna say i flipped the switch did i kill anyone thankfully not well i'm not dead if they Still were alive. dead how would they respond i'm gonna test something if i move this torch in here can you see stuff uh yeah yeah i can see that all right, Lucia, you're up here. You can't see anything. I, I saw a ping just now, and that's it. Yes, this is where your token is. Okay, I can't see my token. Wow, that's it's, advanced. It's set to you. 
I know, I moved it earlier. Ping again. Yeah, I'm seeing the ping. Um, but it's dark. Hugh, can you see things in your room? Uh, yes. I can see, like, what looks like a cabinet, um, six beds. Why is it only you? Because it's always me! <laughs> that's why. Your token doesn't have vision, that's why. Is the token, yeah, I was gonna ask if the token... Okay, I yes, it. now I can, can see. see things now? I can. Oh my god. Why, wh I had your token set. Why does yours break every <laughs> single session? Hey, at least we know how to fix it fast. Because yeah, I am sure. an old, although, you know, this time it had nothing to do with me, really. Um, yeah, so I will answer the, I will answer the question and say, um, whatever you did, I can now see where I am. I seem to be in a small bar, perhaps? Oh yeah, let me give the descriptions for your rooms. That'd probably help, huh? Lucia, as the lights ignite, a wooden counter juts from the northwest corner of this 30 foot by 30 foot chamber. Open cabinets of dusty liquor bottles stand behind the bar while one cabinet remains tightly sealed with a visible lock. Three tables with adjacent chairs fill much of the room. Portraits of posing nobles and historical scenes adorn the walls, all faded with age. And you see doors to the south and east. And Hugh, you see as the lights come up. Faded wallpaper lines this wall lines the walls of this 35 foot by 35 foot room, peeling up at the seams. Six beds line the western wall, each pristinely made but caked in a thick layer of dust. Eight wooden eight closed wooden lockers line the northeastern corner of the room. Two doors exit the room. One to the north, one to the east. Uh, as soon as Mia hears Lucia's voice, she's gonna go, um, uh, Auntie, I heard you the, the first time. Can you, can you shout louder again? I think I can find you. And yes. I will, I will, just, just real quick, I will add, uh, Lucia and Hugh, you do both notice, uh, panels of brass and green glass on the walls of your room with a single switch. Oh no, it's a puzzle. All right, well, I will keep um, calling out for Mia. Um, could I attempt to figure out how this mechanism works to make sure that it's not like a trap or anything? Did... yeah, sure. I mean, um... I mean, checking for traps. Is that a perception? Yeah. You can roll a perception. All right. Well, seems fine to you. Uh, I, I guess I say in the thing. Uh, my apologies in advance if this winds up killing someone. I flip the switch. You flip the switch, and Mia, your room lights up. Okay. Well, Suddenly, I'm... you have light, and as the light comes around, I'm, let me just give you the description of your room real quick. Heavy wooden bookshelves line the walls of this opulent bedchamber. A posh chair sits in the northwestern corner alongside a small circular table. A massive bed and an adjoining table rest along the eastern side of the room, and there is an open bathroom that is fitted into the southwest with a bathtub matching the room's opulence, but adding an ignoble odor. And doors exit to the west and the south. Okay. I'm going to throw open this door, try to let some of the light out, and follow Lucia's voice. Okay. By the way, did I discover anything going further left? You found a door. 
Whoa, cool. Another door. Let's do it again. Open it up. Oh, that's going to be blinding. Kablooey. Hi, you. Yeah, you, you see behind you, Erevid, and Mia, you're able to continue walking forward. Oh, that's right. You feel the clatter of door. I push open clatter of door. You push open door. Don't really, don't, no, no care anymore. Boom. Desmond, over this way. All right, All right sounds good. I'm gonna Should be able to at least loosely see us now. Over. Oh god, he, he startles me. What's this? Um, I'm gonna check out this door in the corner. Checking out do doors. Whoa, that's not so many doors. You open the door. Inside is a bathroom. Well, that's good. They had that for them. So if you have to go pee pee, now's the time. All right, let's go find the others. Agreed. Okay. You're muted. I'm going to open the door. You open oh. the door, you see what you see. I'm letting you take it first. Um, a quick question. Do we, mm -hmm. um, did we leave like a majority of our equipment back at like whatever room we were staying at before? I mean, that's up to you. Whatever equipment you have, you have. Hmm. I don't think any of you said you've left anything behind. Oh, okay. Um, we had somebody so, that uh, helped us get past having to leave weapons or anything, as I recall. Mm -hmm. so. Okay, well, an idea dawns on me. I reach into my backpack, which apparently wasn't stacked, um, and I pull out a torch and a flint and steel. Who would have guessed to have done that? Yeah, you can certainly light a torch. I don't have any of that. <laughs> there you go. All right, let's see. Oh. Okay. You see what you see? You see a door in front of you? Well, come on, then. I guess I am kind of a frontliner, but not going to steal uh, your spotlight. Guess, uh, I don't know what? If you're going to be the frontliner, do you want to hold the torch? Sure, I can do that. Okay. All right, I hand in the torch. Okay, well, time to play past the torch as I take away your lighting and turn it on to yours. That's that's how it be. That do be how it be. And again, there is a door in front of you. Okay. Oh, I lost everything. You lost everything. Yeah, you took away. What? I'm not a light source anymore. I can't see anything. You have everything on my screen. I have everything what have on. What you done? I'm turning off your vision. Here, I'll turn it off. Okay. I, I swear I didn't do anything. It's a normal and torch. Then, oh, oops. I did the wrong thing. Uh, I turned on. I, I made you. I limited your field of vision. There you go. Okay, great. Cool. Uh, let's go for this door. Out of it, oh my you god. <laughs> you open the door, and what do you see but your friends? Uh. 
Oh, Mia? Thank goodness. Lucia? Hello. Hey, they're not my friends yet. <laughs> okay. Acquaintances. Oh. Cohorts. I'm so glad we found each other. Um, have we figured out what these switches do? At uh, present, appears. they just seem to be lights. Yeah. Um, I question why the switches for certain lights are in different rooms, but I'm not more excited at this point. That does seem odd. Um, did anyone we... see any other doors? Our chamber did have one, but it seems to lead up into that other room over there. He points to the bedroom. I came from that room. There was a door to the south that looked like it was a bathroom, but outside of that, it was just straight across. Hmm. Are there any other switches in the rooms that we've passed? There was a switch down here, and there's a switch in here. Oh. Uh, I'm going to walk over to the switch. Has anyone touched the switch yet? I, I don't believe so. No. I just found Lucia before you guys got here. I'm, I'm just gonna. On. I'm gonna do a quick loop just to make sure that it does actually go back to our room, and doesn't have like an extra way out. Okay. Do you flip the switch in that room? I do. Yes. As you flip the switch, I'm not going to remove them for the sakes of things, but as you flip the switch in that room, Aravid, as you walk into the bedroom with Hugh, the lights go out. Hmm. And you would be able to notice that, Desmond, as you flick the switch in this room. That directly across the lights go out. And if you flick it again, the lights go on. Interesting. Whether well, all of the switches need to be on or a specific set. Well, they're they're color-coded, right? I look at the switch again with my, my one-digit perception check. Brass and green glass to me. All of the panels have been made of brass and green glass. So, speaking of that, is there any small inscription on it, or is it a flat, flush thing with a lever? It is a flat, flush thing with a lever. Great. Cool. Well, let's let's turn just the brass switches and let's see what they do. Let's turn off the green ones and turn on the brass ones. Or is it they're, all the, they're, they're all the same. Yeah, I think it's a composition and then there's just one switch on each panel. That would be accurate. Okay. It is not. It is not. One room is brass and the other is green. It's they're all brass and green. Oh. Okay. Okay. Coming back to the bedroom, which switches have we flipped? There's the storage room, uh, southeast. Uh, if, uh, if that is southeast, then in the northwest we've touched uh, this switch in the. It appears to be a dining area. Or perhaps a bar. All right, is I there, believe, is uh, there a, sorry. And I believe Hugh turned on a switch in the southwest. Is that correct? That is correct. All right, then I guess we'll look around the bedroom for a panel. You do find one. Cool. I found the panel. Go ahead and uh, flip that switch. I don't know where it is. Yeah, there. Great. You're so, so you're telling Desmond to flick the switch in his room. Yes, because that would turn out the lights in this one. All right. I just want to flip all the switches on. Okay. So you do that, and then I also do it. So he flicks his off, and you flick yours on, and the light in the storage room comes on. Oh, okay. Um... Oh, wait, it turns on the mm -hmm. storage room? Mm hmm. And the southeast turns on. Huh. 
All right, just try to flip it one more time. Maybe they were just in a weird order. All right, yeah, I'll flip mine back on. You flip yours back on, and the bedroom lights come on. So all four of these rooms have lights. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hmm. Um, I will step out into the hallway. Is there is there a switch in these hallways here? Nope. Okay. Um, I would like to trail my hand along the wall and just and make a make a line go around here. And I'm looking for any uh, secret panels. Give me a perception check. Sure. I would like to do the same in the bedroom. Sure. Three. Oh no. Nothing for Did me. Did you roll a nine, Dieter? Oh no, I was just reacting. Oh, uh, do I have a plus five? Four. Um, I'll also, I'll also do a I do have a plus five, which means a nine. You got a nine? Yeah. You guys, uh, you're looking around. You don't find anything out of the ordinary. You do find uh, on this table up here seems to be a gold key. Mm. Oh, all right, cool. Um, Can I? You said that there was... <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. Is there a string attached to it at all? It doesn't seem to be anything, and I will say... Great, since, I'll pick it up. Since technically... I will say technically, as the adventure describes it, you're all in safe rooms. Oh. Safe rooms and safe areas will give experience points when you finally get to them. Yay. Uh, you That's can look thing. up. You can, Yes, it is. You can look up the experience advancement. Um, but I will say the second all of you were teleported here and met up with each other, you'll gain. Please, 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 please. Had to do the math. You will gain. A whopping 4,500 x pizzle. Wow. 4,500. Wow. Eight. So did we, you say... We're, we're um, on the fast track? We are doing the medium track, so you guys... Medium. Level okay. up. To level two. Uh, next level threshold is 5,000. Damn. So 4,500. We're 4, going to sneeze into level 3. 4, <laughs> 500. 500 points. And so, so, if we wanted to, we can take a break for everyone to level up. I think that'd be nice. I think Lucia and Hugh wanted to do something, so do we want to knock out what they want to do before we... Sure, Lucia, what's yes. up? Um, so, did we decide... Did you say that this was kind of a bar area? Like, there's, like, cabinetry behind the counters here? Uh, yes. This is a social room. Okay. Um, I will copy-paste the description of the room into the chat for you. Okay, because I want to toss the place. I want to open... All the cabinets I can open. I want to check for. Um, I want to check for anything like under the counter, like you know, a button or anything like that. Um, and do any of the portraits of the nobles? Can I identify any of the nobles or the historical scenes? Give me a knowledge history or nobility. Okay. It's going to be a nobility. Um, the scenes, the, the portraits, uh, seem to represent, uh, various noble figures or scenes chronicled by Taldor's fourth army of exploration. How long ago was that from where, oh, when, we, when we are now? Just ballpark it. Like a I'm long, long time. 
I'm sure this is a real thing that I have to Google. <laughs> yeah, there are official timelines. I just, you know, I want to get it because cause everything's dust covered and whatnot. So I just want to, like, if there aren't any recent pictures, you know what I'm saying? Let us find out. Um, it was in 1683 AR. Okay. You're in. I'll wow, have that's to really early. While I Google this, what would Hugh like to do? Um. I, um, I guess I'm going to go back to the room I was in before, and I'm going to go ahead and check the wall first, see if there's anything in the book. Yeah. Sure. Let us see here. As you give me a perception check. You don't find much in the lockers. Most of them are empty, uh, but even with a natural one, uh, you do manage to find uh, one locker containing a set of moth-eaten clothes, uh, a hand mirror, and a grooming kit. Hmm. Interesting. So wherever we are has not been accessed in a hot minute and i'll say we will get to the ransack the rest of the ransacking of the social room when we come back from a break <laughs> after everyone has leveled up ruby all righty we are back from a level up Take it away, players. All right, so we're fairly certain that this is some sort of uh, puzzle escape room trap that we need to get out of, and we have a golden key. Um, aside from the light switches, that's our only clue, correct? There is a cabinet in the room where I am that is locked. Oh, okay. Well, we can try that key there. Do you try the key, Erevid? Uh, yeah, yeah, I might as well. Um, it's worth trying. You go to put the key into this lock, and it doesn't seem to fit. Is this a small key? You know, it's like, uh, yeah, it's kind of medium-ish. You know, it's like one of those old-timey, you know, ringed keys that you yeah. flick around your finger. Okay, okay. You know, with the hole at the end. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, it's not going to be this one. Um, I guess try to look for keyholes. In the meantime, Mia, dear. Yes. I would very much like to be able to get into this cabinet. <laughs> All right. Um, let me see what I can do. And I will go to said cabinet. And how how is this cabinet made? made? What, is, what does it look like? Paint me a word picture of this cabinet. It is a... Wooden cabinet with a metal lock. What do the hinges look like on this cabinet? You know, like classic metal hinges, you know. I nudge a stool over at you. Is the stool metal? 
Uh, all the chairs in this room are wooden. Does it look pretty sturdy? The chair? Looks, the stool that she pushed over to me? It looks old. Could be. Hmm. I'm gonna to get like a little jump behind the bar Bloop. and I'm looking for anything that's uh anything that's metal in nature nothing behind the bar except old dusty cases of liquor no oh, I will grab uh grab a case put it on the counter give it a little pat for Lucia to see uh, mm -hmm. I will jump back over uh sure yeah I'll pick up the chair and I want to try to hit the cabinet with the chair See if I can bust the I'm, I'm gonna get it. well back. I'm gonna get well <laughs> back. Ooh, also, let me share some handouts for you guys real quick. There's that one. Ooh. Oh, she floating. Yeah, she floating. These handouts, I'm pretty sure, um, are probably meant to represent the pre-gen characters, but you made your own. Uh, one of us could have been floating, guys. Uh, let's I'm see okay. here. Um, just roll me an attack. Sure. Uh, improvised weapon. Yeah. Sweet. Uh, thirteen. That's a bad roll for me. Uh, 13, you take the stool and crack it against the, um, cabinet. Um, the wood doesn't really break, um, and one of the legs of the stool falls off. Okie dokie. Um... I will spin the stool in my hand uh, to take the, take like the edge of the seat itself against the wood, and I'm just trying to crack the wood at this point. I'm not aiming for the lock or the hinges or anything like that. I just want to crack into the wood. Can I take another swing? Right. Uh, yeah. As you go for your other swing, we're gonna go to Aravid. What are you doing? I want to try to find, uh in this storage if there are any lock boxes either within the mess of boxes or uh smuggled into the shelves somewhere okay let me see here i guess i could also look for secret doors but i'll do that next my focus is on finding a lock box sure um how long do you think you'd spend a time in this room? Oh, um, I'd say no more than like 10 minutes going around the boxes and shelves. And even that's probably pretty high. All right. Yeah. You, you spend some time looking around, moving around some of the boxes. You, you know, move around some of the boxes down here. Um, which was, was a mess before you came in. You know, you move stuff around. Um, mm, and as you, gotta you know, have control. Yeah, as you put some gotta of the organize. boxes into a less hectic state, uh, on this southern wall... Um, oh boy, I gotta look up the meaning of this, this word. <laughs> they use a couple of those. Yeah. Okay, I know what that means. Uh, it reveals a beautiful fresco painted on the wall depicting oh. uh, Galician Merimaxis, uh, hero of the Fourth Army of Exploration, battling the dwarves of the Five Kings Mountains. Uh, a brass plate identifies the fresco as noble Galician uh, Merimaxis, Hero of the Fourth Army of Exploration, Champion of Taldor. Good news, we're still in Taldor. <laughs> um, this fresco. Okay, I guess I'll shift my attention. This fresco got any hidden features, or the like 
plaque. Give me a perception or disabled device. Oh, do I even have that? I don't think I have that. I don't have that. I can't do that. So perception it is. I think I got a rank in that. Yeah, I did put an extra rank in that. So plus six. 16. Something out of the ordinary. Okay. And no lockboxes among the shelves or anything? I mean, no. You find, you know, you look among the shelves, you look amongst some of the crates, just dust-coated bottles, glass jars, one now shattered on the ground. I'll grab a bottle and make my way back. Okay. Uh, what would Hugh like to do in this room? Let, let me check. I'm sorry. They still have, like, sheets up. Um, do I see any, well, just anything that looks lock or... Oh, well, yeah. Give me a perception check. All right, perception check. Let me see. Nothing out of the ordinary, no, no locks in the room. Okay, um, I suppose I'll probably just go back, I'll regroup with the others and see if they made any progress. Okay, well, Lucia, you look behind the paintings, nothing's there. Um, Desmond, what are you doing, sir? So, oh, I would like to... Uh, retrace our steps and see which switch turned on which light. Um, so, if we treat the rooms as uh, number one, number two on the top, going from left to right, and number three to number four, going from left to right on the bottom. I'll just let you know. Uh, so, bottom, bottom left activates the upper rooms. Both? The room with everyone inside of it activates your room. Your room activates this room and the storage room, and the storage room activates this room and the bedroom. Not not this bedroom, but the other one, bottom left. Okay, uh, I was writing that down. So the top left only turns on the top right. Oh, perfect. Area B1, areas B2 and B3. Area B2 is area B3. Oh, okay, so... And that's as I was saying before, right? Like, top left is B1. Um... No. Oh, okay, well... Um... I'll, I'll, I'll let you know... Bottom left is B1, top okay. left is B2, your room is B3, storage room is B4. Got it. Thank you. Um, I'm going to grok this information over. Um, I think that's what I'll do with my turn. All right, I well, think it'll everyone... be kind of boring hearing me think. <laughs> everyone back in this room, the, the you know social room, uh, Mia, go for another attack. 25 with the max damage 25 you manage to crack some of the wood in this cabinet and it is enough to not you know open the cabinet but enough to look in and see what's inside awesome what is inside inside uh appears to be a crystal ball. Oh, gimme. Oh. Can I reach inside or did I not make enough of a hole? 
you can try reaching inside um, this crystal ball. You do get enough uh, sight to look inside. This crystal ball seems to be like it is built into the wall. Hmm. Ah, okay. I will turn around and inform everybody of that and just ask, do you want me to pull the wood off the cabinet? That would be lovely to hear. I'm on it. And I will start Roll. just with bare hands, just prying it off the wall. <laughs> Yeah, so you can just, just, just for my knowledge, just roll me a straight strength. Straight strength? Yes. You don't want an unarmed strike? No. Dang it. Okay. Six. <laughs> it takes, you know, I'll say a, a good chunk of time. You know, a couple minutes go by as you're trying to pull it off, but eventually you do, you know, you're sweating, but eventually you do take the cabinet off to reveal this immovable crystal ball and as you guys get a better look at it there seems to be a rectangular piece of curved glass um or, or retain a rectangular hole where more glass could go in uh missing at the top of this device great after i'm done i'm gonna tired i'm gonna walk over here i'm gonna fall down on one of the stools and i'm gonna grab one of the drinks <laughs> that i pulled up from behind the bar blow it off uh and open it and take a drink all right uh you take a drink and the taste is immediately disgusting and sour uh-oh it's gone off it was I milk I spit it like like a projectile across the bar against the wall. I was like, oh, this is gross. Ugh. I actually forgot to say, so I'm going to keep that. You know, you pulled out a container of the bad stuff. Um, but as you were behind the bar before, you definitely would have noticed uh, two bottles of whiskey still in their wax. Um... And you know would have noticed an, uh, a single spoon and an interesting looking, um, hold on a second, an interesting looking piece of carved wood. Oh, this is gross. I'm going to go for that whiskey and I will jump over the bar, grab the whiskey. I'll grab the weird piece of wood and the spoon, and I will bring all three up to the bar top. And as I crack open the whiskey, I'll look at um, Irvid, who's across from me, and be like, mm, you want a swig? So uh, holding the neck of the bottle that I brought from storage, I'm going to smell it first. I'll just tell you, it smells old and not good. If, if... Alcohol could turn into a jelly. Oh, that's so gross. Ew. That's <laughs> intriguing. Um, Aravid does a subtle nod. So what else have we found? Um, there doesn't seem to be any lock uh, lock boxes in the storage room. I kind of checked. Um, but there is an interesting fresco. And once a uh, his history lesson well we're all listening you're not in the room I'm in the next room right yeah you don't just shout the story um I can lead a tour guide over <laughs> if you want to take a look it's freaking painting I believe a fresco is like painting into wet plaster right that is correct haha -ha. so yeah yes that is correct a painting done rapidly in watercolor on wet plaster on a wall or a ceiling so that the color penetrates the plaster and became fixed as it dries nice uh I, I will is it just a bottle of whiskey or is it like a box of whiskey bottles it is two bottles of whiskey remained sealed in their wax. Okay. Well, I guess I'll unwax the second one and lead a 
uh, tour <laughs> to of the museum. <laughs> I look at Lucia um, to see if she's gonna go, because I'm gonna go I'm, where she yeah. is. But I will also hand her a weird tour. piece of wood that I found. All right. Um, I am contemplating just you know that that orb that I'm coming on the tour. Ponder the orb. I am pondering the orb. Yes. It's what I do. Uh, well, uh, once people make it into the storage room, I would point out, as probably Desmond already sees, um, uh, after removing a couple boxes, the fresco and plaque placard here detailing the historical Talden figure. Why? In the world, is there a fresco in a storage room? Would you like me to move your token, Lucia? Oh yeah, sorry, I wasn't thinking about it. Um, well, thanks. that's why I thought I might take a closer look, but I couldn't find anything. It seems like there's clues throughout the rooms. I'm gonna go into the southwest room and pull up all the sheets. See if Only there's anything useful. Check. Okay. Uh, Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Okay. You don't find anything. You pull up all the sheets. Nothing out of the ordinary. Hmm. I would like to examine this fresco and just see if, I mean, obviously I'm looking to see if there's anything like a, you know, like a s tiny seam in the wall or anything like, um, but thematically if there's anything. Um, like, you know, if it so happens that this hero is standing with a key in his hand, I want to press mm -hmm. the key. You know? Sure. Uh, you or can... a weird wooden thing. Yeah, can, yeah. Uh, <laughs> roll me a perception with aid from Erevid, which gives something. I believe uh, base, base rules is a plus two for okay. aiding, but okay. um, the way I do it is plus two or the the skill. I will do that. Oh, it's up to you. Okay. Do what? And Sorry. get an additional plus six on top of your perception roll because oh, I'm damn. helping you out. Okay. I am here for it. How's that? That is not enough. <laughs> huh. All right. Um. So that lets you know alone. There's a number. Yeah. Twenty, isn't it? It does let 26. me know that. It's 26 with his 6 to help. There's a 6. No, I added in. I added in the 6. Mm. Before I rolled ah. Yeah. Wait, you did your future. I mean, can you use that on... Oh, no. You have to do it before you roll. And I... I to and be it's fair, gone. It's uh, gone. It only lasted like a minute, so... You all know that there's a number to this fresco. Mm -hmm. Your characters know Jack Diddley. Yep. Um... Other than that, there's a weird fresco of an ancient hero on the wall. <laughs> Just for funsies, I would like to cast Whoa. Read Magic on that fresco. What'd that do? i tell you what that do. Tell me what that do. Um, let's see if I can... There we go. You can decipher magical inscriptions on objects, books, scrolls, weapons, and the like that would otherwise be unintelligible. I'm making the uh, argument that a wall, a painting, is an object. So, if you wanna, if you wanna let this go, cool. If not, that's also cool. 
Um, I, I mean, I will, if this takes a slot, um, I will tell you not to spend it as there's okay. no, um, magical inscriptions. Okay. Thank you. You're very benevolent. Yeah. Well, you're only level two now. So. <laughs> Once you guys get to level three, get fucking ready. Okay, so I'm sorry. Is the which wall is the fresco on? Is it this? It's one? behind these crates. Behind them. Have we moved the crates all the way out? Uh, to reveal the fresco, Arvid did. Yes. Okay. What's um? What's going on up here, Desmond? And now Arvid. Um. I was wondering if there was something weird with either the the shelves or the bed. Pretty prominent features in this room. Mm -hmm. I was kind of... I was going to inspect them. Uh, Erevid, would you mind helping me search? Oh sure. my goodness! What are we looking for? Oh, no, never mind. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sorry. What? I'm sorry. You can roll perception in the room. Uh, okay. <laughs> I, I I would have to ask prior to aiding what what are we looking for? Um something that seems out of place. I feel okay. like the the fresco you found is a clue, but I don't know what it means. I'm wondering if there's something similar in here. Of course. Um so yeah, if I'm uh, I'll I'll aid his perception check so an additional sure. 6. So that'll be a 19 in here. Sure. Well, as you're looking around, um, just this room in general, one of the first things that catches your eye is there is a scroll case hanging from the railing of the bathtub. Uh. Uh, someone might want to check the other bathroom. Uh. As you look at it, it is a bronzed and pitted case. Uh, do you open it? Um, I ask Erevid if... Uh, Erevid, are, are you skilled in seeing if something is rigged? I don't suspect it is, but it doesn't uh, hurt to be certain. I can try. Um... I guess I'll look for like a wax, waxy coating to maybe keep in a poisonous dust or some kind of string mechanism or anything. Sure. Checking for traps. Give me a check for traps roll. Wow. Uh, 23. No, nope, seems fine. Nice. Yeah. I, I don't think that anything's wrong with this. All right. Let's. Uh, if there's anything Let's open it you up. Open it up, and it reveals a tattered note that, that reads the following: Fourth bed from the north, comforter, backup key. Fourth bed. Okay. <laughs> So you guys just yeah. see Desmond and Erevid come back through the rooms to this room. Well, it's either this one or this one, depending on which way north is. So I guess we'll check both of those. All right. I'm both. assuming that north is yes. actually up, but... Yeah, so I guess we'll both check since that's probably the most uh, non meta gamey thing yeah, well, for these characters to do. Without a check needed you find a uh, stitching in the fourth bed, in the comforter of the fourth bed that you did not notice before. Um, you rip it open to reveal an, an in inelegant looking brass key uh, that seemingly would have fit the no longer locked cabinet. <laughs> Mia enjoyed herself, it's fine. Uh-huh. 
All right. Mm. Well. Um, Has anybody checked under beds and such? I asked Mia. Uh, no, I don't believe no one has. Do you want me to check? Sure. Um, I just feel like we probably should explore all possible avenues. While you're doing that, I think I'm going to go back and look at that crystal. And I am okay. going to go back in time just a little bit and put Aravid and Desmond back into this room. Let's go. Um, as with your uh, 19 perception, um, you would have noticed an interesting looking book. Uh, one that hasn't decayed over the years. Um, Ooh, that's magical. And as you kind of open it and look through it, uh, you find a small curved piece of rectangular glass fitted inside hmm. the pages of the book. Oh, we got ourselves a jigsaw. I'm gonna... Well, unless Desmond found it. I, I would have said, uh, yeah, Desmond would have he was the one doing the perception. He would have noticed both of these things. Yeah. Okay. I mean, your statement actually still makes sense, even if I found it, as long as we were both looking for yeah. it together. But, um... I just do not possess it. Yeah. Um, so I'll take it out of the book and say, shall we reunite this piece with its siblings? If there is more than one. Of course. So I'll go over here. I think the other piece was in here, was it not? You do remember was there that, another piece? Well, you do remember that there was a cut hole inside of the crystal bowl. Right. Is this piece enough? Seems to be. To make the rectangle? Okay. I was on, I was I was thinking something different. Yeah, let's let's put it into the magic orb. Uh, Lucia, if you would, since I think you have the orb, right? I am sitting there looking at it, yes. Uh, I'm gonna hand the piece over to you. I am mildly startled. I take the piece. Do you put it in the crystal ball? I sure as heck do. As you're looking at the crystal ball, it immediately lights up to reveal the fresh go aha uh -huh. okay and then a magical glow from you you can see within the crystal ball there shows a vibrant magical glow around a specific part of the fresco so quick everyone everyone look at this so i'm not the only one who sees where this is um i'm gonna yell out Demolition lady, I need you to follow me. <laughs> Mia's like halfway under a bed before she just kind of scoots her way out, <laughs> jumps up. Okay. Uh, she would stop and look at Lucia to make sure Lucia was okay. And as soon as she got the nod, then she would follow quickly after Desmond. And I'm coming. Yeah, I'm following. Yeah, what's up? What you yeah, need? Yeah, what's up? What you need? Um, I'm going to use like a single finger cold blast at the point that was glowing and then i'm gonna say there do your thing uh, can we maybe see if there's something to press or something like that maybe before we yeah okay. oh, they'll destroy it <laughs> uh i guess we go ahead <laughs> if it is magical Maybe it'll accept the key without a uh, keyhole. I will say, as you're looking at the fresco, there's nothing glowing on it. Okay. No, that's fine. I'm going to, like, put the... Well, I don't have the key. Never mind. You do, I think. Well, I yeah, but I would pass <laughs> I would pass along the key if you were doing the inspection. Yes. Sure. Of course, I do have a lot of health, so if it's going to explode, you know... I'll take I mean, the fall. go ahead, then... <laughs> Because I don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, along the, the, the place in my 
mind that I have seen, I will run my fingers along that area, followed by the key, just to see if it'll accept it. Can I hold a reaction as he does that? Ooh, okay, I made a little mistakey stake. Um... So I'm gonna re I'm retconning all of that. I apologize. Um, How much? Uh, everything uh, after putting the piece into the crystal ball. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, because as you know, just just rewind, just I rewind. Did. Uh, <laughs> so I think that puts me in here. Uh, as you the the crystal ball shows the fresco, um, but nothing happens. You just see the fresco. Ah. So we just know that it's hinky. Mm-hmm. I read something wrong. That's I want to do this correct. That's a bad... That, that was an oopsie on my part. Okay. Okay, so okay. I guess I'm going to walk out this room, and instead of yelling demolition lady, follow me, uh, I'm going to gesture to uh, Lucia, uh, you know, with like a finger... Like, beckoning her to follow me, since mm -hmm. I know she can't hear me. All right. Yeah, I guess we're going to take a, take another look. What what are we looking at? Oh. oh. Also, oopsies. <laughs> Gosh, I'm missing so much that's stuff. Okay, I'm that's so okay. sorry, folks. <laughs> uh, Aravid, while you were searching around the room in the crates way long ago, yeah. um, you would have found a toolkit. Oh. Um that counts as a masterwork uh, tool for craft checks related to carpentry, metalworking, or stonework. Oh. So there might be a mallet in there, for instance. Masterwork. Oh. oh. Masterwork. Carpentry. Metalwork? Yes, and I will, yeah, uh, carpentry, metalwork, and stonework, and given the amount of time all of you have searched in this room, I will also uh, give you all of this, um, between Erevid looking around this room, between uh, Desmond looking around this room. Um, it's pretty safe to say that looking through all the crates and the shelves, uh, you also would have found all of this. Ah, oh, nice. Wow. Wow, holy shit. Uh oh. Yeah, you know, take that as the reward for me uh, reversing <laughs> and rewinding everything. I'm not getting rid of my flashy rapier, but I'm going to take the masterwork rapier, and no one's going to stop me. He will kill you if you try. I don't think anyone <laughs> was going to stop you. Can I have the masterwork parts? <laughs> sure. Yeah. It's fine with me. I might. Can I make the daggers disappear? I would have taken the masterwork suit of studded leather armor if it just said a masterwork suit. <laughs> I can wear the studded leather armor. Well, you all got goods to divvy up now. None of it is going to me, I think. You take the halberd. What am I gonna do? Do you need, the hell? Do you need some daggers? Look majestic, duh. I don't need all three daggers. If... Oh, I'll hold the daggers. It doesn't seem like a bad idea to have some backup. All right. Cutting weapons. Um, but I'm gonna say to Lucia. Um, Lu Lucia reads lips, right? Uh -huh. Pretty good. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna face her and say, "Would you mind holding that uh, crystal orb up next to the painting? Maybe we can compare the the two images and see if there's anything off." Orb is not movable, right? Pi. The the orb is in the cabinet, permanently yeah. in place. Oh, oh, yeah. I. Did not realize that. Okay. Um, hmm. Okay, I'm gonna kind of redact some of my RP then. I didn't realize. I thought it was like a mobile object that they. Oh, yeah. No, that's fine. 
Um, I'm gonna be back at the the bar then, looking at the the painting. Um, mm -hmm. I'm gonna say into the sending stones. Uh, would one of you mind walking in front of the painting? Mm, see if it's real time. Mm, clever. Right. Clever. I'll do that. I'll put myself uh, square up to it. What do I see? You see uh, just the painting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. I only see the painting in there. I don't see Arabid in there. Hmm. What happens if I touch the crystal with the wooden piece thingy? Nothing seems to happen. Okay. I'm going to touch the crystal with, like, my fingertips, as one would do for, you know, fortune telling, whatever, and say, show me the way out. You do so, and the crystal ball's image does not change from the fresco. Okay, it's worth a shot. Good thought. Do I find anything under the bed? Do I find anything under Other than um, dust and maybe a spider or two. Okie dokie. I mean, feel free to name the spider. It's probably not going to be your friend, but you can do it. Is it alive? Even? Yeah. I mean, I, Given I everything else? Scurrying around? Yeah, there, there, there are cracks in the walls to be able to allow a spider. Okay. Um, I'm gonna look in this other restroom. I'm not sure if anyone searched it yet. I was about to, but then we found stuff. You sure can search it. This is this room. Um, doesn't seem to be anything inside. Okay. Is it um, just just out of curiosity? Is the plumbing something that we are familiar with, or does it seem less advanced or more advanced than anything plumbing, that we're used to? Yeah, it, it would be something that you are familiar with. The bathroom does still work, uh, and the internal plumbing seems to have been built to last millennia. Hmm. Uh, anything from anyone else? Hugh, are you doing anything? Kind of just chill around. Um, could I actually inspect that one part that was like highlighted in the crystal orb on the fresco? We, we don't know yeah, highlighted. you don't know that. We we round we rewound time to before that happened, so that didn't happen. Uh, yet. Oh, okay. Um, um, is there anywhere on the fresco? That includes a spoon, a carved wooden thing, or a E. <laughs> Give me a perception check. Those are our weird. I did say earlier that, that I was have. looking to see if there was a key in the pictures. That's maybe we'll be my true. Hey, do you want me to come um, help you? <laughs> that would be great. Okay. Um. So you get to add what I have for perception. Correct. So you yeah. get a plus four. If you, for me. if you are assisting me, um, yeah, I'll come look again because I'm just frustrated. I by guess the it'll fresco. be twenty-four to try to spot those three objects within the fresco or any relevant gaps for them. Yeah, twenty-four. You say? Yep. No, nothing. Okay. No, no place for a spoon, a key, or a weird wooden thing. I mean, you, you're all 
more than welcome to investigate the the spoon or the weird wooden thing if any of you have knowledge arcana. Oof. Uh, I That's do. for the spellcasters to do. But I don't, I don't know that as you it might can think. be. Um, I guess I'm just gonna role play. Uh, or, or, ah, I'm stuck in the door. Ah, God, I'm stuck in the bathroom. <laughs> Okay, that's why, I made that's it. why you move square by square. <laughs> um, have we found anything? Not, not really. I mean, we do have these, this weird object, this wooden object, and then this key that we haven't found anything to unlock with yet. I mean a spoon. Oh, and a Holding spoon. Holding onto the spoon. I I suppose uh, um I'll I guess like give it a the various effect. objects. I'll give a spoon to you and the wooden carved object to Desmond and Lucia. Chia, sorry. What's uh what was that Q? Um, I guess like since like attention was brought to like a random assortment of items. I just give it a look to see if like anything peculiar uh, stuck out. I mean, you can, if you're looking at the items, you can give me, uh, as I said, knowledge arcana. Um, I'll give him, yeah, I'll give him the plus eight for that from my arcana. Okay, so 18. Plus eight, damn. So the weird uh, wooden thing, um, is a bottle open. Hold on a second. Is this? Oh. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. Well, if we never get out of here, then. Uh... Huh. And the spoon is this. Oops. Well, that's that's good. Well, that's interesting. If not a little discouraging. Ah, oh, up to the four humans. How unfortunate that there are five people. It's well, fine. We'll ration. We don't. We don't all have to eat every day. You can stop. Uh -huh. Hey, you know, maybe... We can start was, eating each uh, other. Yeah, maybe you can start eating each other. But maybe uh, there was something, uh, you know, more to those lights than it seemed. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink, DM telling you, get on with the puzzle already. Yeah, I, I was looking at those. I'm trying to... Hmm. Okay. Uh, I have an idea. The crystal ball, you said, acts as a light, right? Like, it turned on? The crystal ball activated when the final piece was put into it. Okay. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this room up here and uh, tell everyone... I want to try something. Um, I'm going to turn off, uh, or I'm going to toggle the switch in this room. Mm hmm. Do you do that? Yeah, yeah. I, I wanted to toggle that switch. You toggle that switch, and the room you guys are in, uh, the lights go out. I'm going to keep them there. Actually, no, I'm going to move them the GM layer. The lights go out. Um, Is anything um, on the fresco glowing? Nope. I'm just going to bring it back. Nothing on the fresco is glowing. Hmm. Uh, Mia's going to make a connection of what, he, what she thinks he's doing and say, I'm going to go look at the orb. Can you turn off the lights in that room? Wait, Woody? The lights that you just clicked 
Um, and the lights are actually off in that room. Okay, already with the orb. Running in here, is the orb glowing? As you are looking at the orb, you can see a glowing spot on the fresco. Right now that the lights are off. <laughs> is it the spot Boom. that we may or may not have seen in a previous life? It is the spot that you may or may not have seen in a previous life. <laughs> awesome, cool. I'm gonna take off back towards the back towards the room. Pew! And I'm going to run right up to the picture and I'm going to put my hand on that spot that I saw. Blech. You put your hand on the spot that you saw and nothing happens. Does it feel loose or does it feel solid? Like, is there a space it behind feels it? Solid. Hmm. I'm gonna... It feels solid. It feels solid. I'm going to look over at Lucia and I'm going to ask her, how much do you think this painting's worth? Well, I mean, there's so many variables that might determine that. I mean, if we're trapped here and never get out, it's not worth much. Um, frescoes are hard. To, anyway, why do you ask? Oh, well, uh, because, and I will look over at, uh, uh, at Irvin and say, I, I think there's something behind this section of the painting, but I'm a little concerned about punching it because there's a stone wall behind it. Do you think you can cut it with your with your rapier? If only we had a mallet or a hammer. Or a halberd. <laughs> um, first I'd like to know, is there any significance in the picture as to where Mia is pointing? Like, no, seems completely just random. sort of... Okay. Yep. So it isn't the figure's hand pointing somewhere. Nope. Uh, uh, Mia just ran up and like put her hand on like the knee. Hmm. Somebody shoot. Somebody me. shoot an arrow hit, at it. Hit the knee. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I guess hammer. I'll I'll uh, pass the a a a hammer to the location or to Mia. Sorry. Just have fun with this. I suppose. I'll just okay. kind of watch what's happening. Okay, this works. Uh, taking another look at the painting, uh, just to confirm with you, Pi, before I wreck this thing, uh, there's no, there, there's no significance to this section of the painting that I can deduce, right? Um, <laughs> nothing that you can deduce. Um, would you feel better? if I told you that there's more to this puzzle than just smashing through it. Yes and no. Uh, I mean... I mean, we're slowly, I mean, we're slowly trudging, trudging through it. With this, <laughs> I, uh, I mean, instinctively, if no one's gonna stop her, she's gonna take the, the back end of the hammer and just basically rip open behind the portion that's uh, that was highlighted on the orb. Pull off the plaster. That's that's what I'm doing. Sounds like I have full yep. support. <laughs> yep. If sure. it doesn't work, roll. then we'll do other things. Roll me an attack. Fourteen. Fourteen for six. Uh, you, let's see here. You're able to begin smashing through a part of it. Um, you, you don't see anything yet. Well, I keep going. <laughs> Unless somebody stops Desmond, me, I'm Desmond, would you mind turning second. off the lights in the storage? Sorry. Turning them off? Seems darkness activates things. All right, yeah, I'll I'll turn it back off. Um, and then I'm gonna kind of make my way over to the crystal ball again and see if anything's changing. Yeah, uh, a different spot in the fresco is glowing. I'll break oh? all the pieces. Break oh, the whole thing. Ah! Maybe we have okay. to press the press the areas as we see them. So like we have touched the first one, and now a second one has come up. 
So All we right. touched that and maybe, you know, so we're touching various points in a pattern. Okay, so uh, I'm going to role play through this because I think it's... Yes, it's definitely. Way. But mm -hmm. um, stop me if I, like, cross a line, Pi, please. Mm -hmm. All right, so you struck the the fresco on the the hero's knee, correct? Yeah, and all right, all right. Well, now strike the horse he's riding on on its head. Well, to be fair, she didn't strike it; she just touched it. Okay. Well, I don't know that. <laughs> Striking is a well thing to assume. I think you do. No, yeah, you you would have been able to see it from the other room when she did when she ran in. And well, she started beating it up, right? That's what I saw. After the fact. Oh, okay. Well, um, I'm just gonna start yelling out parts. Horse head. Bam! I hit the horse head with the hammer. Sure. Yeah. Uh, you you keep calling out, and after the sixth one you notice that there is a compartment that opens up from the fresco. Hey! <laughs> Alright, on the sixth one. The ugly dwarf's groin. Her smack. I, as a GM, am so happy that this puzzle made you struggle. Because, in reality, it was just a simple game of telephone. <laughs> Child games was... are the hardest things to figure out mm -hmm. in D and I stand by that. Was mm -hmm. look was look at the crystal ball while the lights were out, and one person had to remain and shout it to the others as a new light popped up and you touched it. <laughs> it was a simple game of telephone. As the compartment opens, you notice that there is a little baggie. And as you open the baggie, there seems to be 20 coins inside. Well, let's Great, take we can get lunch. <laughs> a familiar looking coins. Do they look like the currency we are used to? They seem to be golden coins bearing the same crest that is on your badges. Oh. Interesting. The the badges and the crest of the Voratas family. Yeah. Interesting. I say as I walk into the room. <laughs> um... The the coins do seem like they hold some sort of value, though, right? They seem to be worth... Uh, well, you can make an appraise, and if anyone wants to examine them further, I'll say you can make a spellcraft. I can do neither of those things. I would well, like I mean, to make a spellcraft. Oh, jeez. Yeah, everyone jump in at once. <laughs> I can't do either of those things, so I'll let experts do them. Uh, well, Hugh, with Spellcraft, I mean, uh, Lucia, you can certainly do it as well if you want. Okay, thank you. And if anyone has a praise, they can do a praise. Um... Spellcraft is not. There we go. All the way at the bottom. Boo. So, Hugh, you identify these coins as a foci for a conjuration effect. Even more so, you are able to tell and see the telltale, so the telltale sigils needed for a phase door spell. Ho oh. ho! Um, I convey this information to everyone that is in the room. So that's everyone. Right, so we can get out. 
These are our tickets out. All right. Do we know in which direction we want to use this spell? Um, if no one has any real suggestions, a safe place may be my mom's bakery. They knew they knew Lucia was there. They knew I was there. So maybe actually neither one of our places of residence would be safe. Does anybody that's, that's, not live in the area? That's not exactly what I was asking. Uh, I'm I'm assuming that the phase door spell just lets us phase through an object? Or is it, is it like a, a portal? The spell creates an ethereal passage through wooden, plaster, or stone walls. Yeah, so it's not like a teleport to another safe house kind of spell. We need to get out of here. That's what that's going to allow us to do. I don't understand magic. So, okay, sure. so we and just have say, to find the way out. Well, I will say from previous, because um, I forgot to read this too, from previous perception checks, in this room, Erevid, uh, Desmond, and everyone who would have percepted this room would have noticed a circular coin sized niche on the wall. Okay. Oh. It's like Bullshit. the subway. <laughs> that sounds like a good place to guess. Could a place as any. Let's go. All right. All right. Get us out of here. Wanna Everybody come take to a this coin. Room, what do they do when they run out of coins? They die. Too bad for those people. Well, let's hope there's not a fifth person that shows up with that spoon of sustaining. <laughs> As one by one, you place the coins in this little niche, you find yourselves being transported into what appears to be a tunnel. Well, once your tokens will move for me. And roll 20 stops being weird. We'll get there. See, I told you it was the sun subway. A Ooh. tunnel. Um, a, you see that this tunnel uh, leads down into a lowered hall, but also rises up seemingly just a wall you also notice that there is a single hooded lantern that rests on the ground flickering with a blue light does does the way back to where we were remain open no rats and those coins stayed in the niche right they are, I believe they are essentially just used up. Like, those okay. those coins are gone. Right. So five coins of the 20 have been used. Gotcha, gotcha. You do notice, though, that there, at the northern end of this hall, is an elaborate brass lever. Uh, I inspect the lever... <laughs> Yeah, you go for it, technology boy. Who's gonna hold on to the blue lantern? Well, uh, why don't you let me, as I... Uh, my skills are not physical, necessarily. Right. So I don't really need a hand free for a weapon. You know, those kinds of physical mm -hmm. skills. I'll pass that to Lucia. Okay, and you have a hooded lantern um, that is glowing a blue light. And Hugh, you may roll a perception uh, on the lever if you wish. Doesn't seem to be trapped or anything, doesn't seem to be 
anything out of the ordinary and likely connects to a hidden door. Um, I guess to look at it, I just pull it. You pull the lever? Horrible, I, I toggle it. Yeah, you, yeah, you pull the lever? Mm-hmm, yes. And it opens into a hallway. And that is where we're going to end the session. Uh, ah, the hallway! Oh, man. This stupid hallway. Yay, level two. Yay, Yay level, level two. two. Yay. Do we... Yay for childish puzzles confusing the party, and I didn't have to be a part of the puzzle, and I got to watch. <laughs> the embarrassment. We got through it. Right. So true, though. We did. We did. I mean, I had to nudge a little because I was sitting there and I was like, "Wow." I mean, to be fair, on the DM side of things, that what that it did look very kind of simpleish. Um, oh, that's it always weird. It, it literally was just a game of telephone, and yep. you guys took every other step. There were clues to find. It took a while for you to find the clues. We got there eventually. I mean, nope. a lot of the the checks that we've made were kind of um, difficult to make because our perception checks are nowhere near our tannis. Yeah, um, a lot of the a lot of the checks you guys had to make, and I will say this: um, the clues that you find during this course of that puzzle just supersede any checks you need to make. But you guys kept specifically asking to look for stuff, so I kept asking for checks. And it makes sense that finding the clues make the puzzle easier, uh, considering all of the actual checks you needed to make were 25 and above. Eesh. The highest check you could have succeeded, or the hi highest check, I believe, was a 40. Mm -hmm. That's insane. Artanis would have just yeah, walked in I'm there. Yeah, like, I'm not used to it. I'm not used to a 20 not being spot. great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that, it, that felt bad to say the 24. Because <laughs> you, if you got a 25, I think, Erevid on the check for the fresco instead of a 24, you would have known that there was a hidden compartment behind it. Mm -hmm. But you got a 24. Yep. But that was, I... that was fun. You know what's happening upstairs. So we have to wait two weeks to know where the... to keep figuring out where the heck we are. Yep. <sighs> this is fine. This, Everyone this loves is a good fine. cliffhanger. This yep. is fine. I'm fine. I'm not going to be obsessing over this. It's great. I'm not worried. Hee hee hee. Hee hee hee, indeed. <laughs> All right, well. That was a good session. Yes, great game as always. Uh, glad to be back in War for the Crown, and my god, that was the hardest child puzzle I think I've ever had to deal with. But for now, <laughs> everybody say goodbye to YouTube. Bye, Bye YouTube. Goodbye, YouTube. Bye, YouTube. Hey. Happy dungeon delving, everyone, and pie. Yes, as always, stay sweet, everyone, and good pie.